This recording is designed to demonstrate the use of the vegetation departure calculator for the contiguous United States. The calculator was developed to provide an interactive tool capable of summarizing current vegetation conditions for different geographic variables using consistent and comprehensive data. As you can see here, the calculator is a pivot table in an Excel spreadsheet. When you first open the calculator, you will see the Introduction tab. In addition to giving an overview of the calculator, the Introduction tab provides links to important resources such as the Frequently Asked Questions and Metadata. On the Key tab, you will find a list of all the fields in the calculator pivot table with their definitions. On the Source Data Information tab, you will find information about the datasets used to build the calculator as well as background information about the scale and appropriate use of the data. Additional information on source data can be found in the metadata available from the calculator website. The Raw Data tab contains the data used to build the calculator pivot table. It, along with all other worksheets in the calculator, has been locked to protect its integrity. After you have reviewed the information and resources that come with the calculator, you will want to explore the functionality of the departure calculator itself. At the top of the screen, you see a graph which summarizes the data shown below in the table. The information in the table can be manipulated using the drop-down menus in the field list here on the right side of the screen. The default option is to show vegetation departure for the contiguous United States. Let's take a closer look at vegetation departure. If I click on vegetation departure in the field list, you can see that the attributes of this field have been pre-filtered. Let's use select all to turn on all attributes in the field. Once you have checked select all, hit the OK button. Notice that the graph and the table automatically update to show all the checked attributes. For simplicity's sake, let's go back to displaying just the vegetation departure attributes. Click on the vegetation departure drop-down and uncheck select all. Then check the low, moderate, and high vegetation departure boxes. Then click the OK button and see the changes on the left. Now we'll display more than one variable at the same time. Click on region, east, west, in the field list and you will see how vegetation departure varies in the eastern and western parts of the country in the graph. The table automatically creates rows for the east and west, but it might be easier to compare the data if the east and west numbers were in adjacent columns. You can move them to columns by clicking and dragging the region field from the row labels to the, row, to the column labels. Because the east and western parts of the country are not equal in size, let's change the display from acres to percent to make relative comparisons easier. In the values section, click on the sum of acres drop down field and select value field settings. Click on the show values as tab and use the drop down menu to select percent of row. Then click OK. Notice that the units on both the table and the graph automatically change to percent. But the percents are displayed with two significant digits, which implies a level of precision that is not supported by the data that the calculator runs on. So let's change the number of significant digits. Go back into the Sum of Acres drop-down menu and select the Value Field Settings again. This time, click on the Number Format button change the decimal places from 2 to 0 and click OK. You have now seen how to manipulate the calculator using a few simple examples. Remember that you can mix and match the variables to answer a variety of questions much more complex than what was shown here. On the calculator website you will find additional resources including answers to frequently asked questions, complete metadata and contact information to help you use the calculator.